I love the video game Monster Hunter, and I can't wait for you all to see the movie. I'm a huge fan of Monster Hunter, the video game. I've fallen in love with the monsters and the world, so now we're making the movie. He really wanted to make sure that he not only did the obvious research, you know, he knows the game, but paying attention to what people are saying online. The fans can expect their favorite characters from the game live on screen. The monster I fear the most, that I always have trouble fighting, is the Black Diablos. The Black Diablos is in the movie. We have the Rathalos and the Scylla. It's not a monster, but I love the Palico. What? We couldn't make a Monster Hunter movie without Palico. It's being respectful towards the gamers, really, really making sure that the monsters and the world and the characters and certain moments from the video game are in the movie. It smells good. To see it come to life on screen, I'm pleased. Yes, this is the game, exactly how I envisioned it. We knew that we were gonna have to go to places like Namibia, Tanqua, Cedarburg, you know, fantastic places, fantastic landscapes, and amazingly, straight out of the game. What you are going to see in this film is pretty astounding and I think a pretty good indication of what came from the game. I feel like it's a very, very special movie. It's the best movie I've ever made. One of the things I've always liked about the Monster Hunter games when you play the video game, you create your own character, you create your own avatar. And in many ways, that's what Artemis is. She's the new character, she's the avatar for the audience, and she's their way into the world of the video game. So when you play the video game for the first time, you know nothing about the world. <laughs> Gotta tell me about that. So you will follow her adventures in the same way that you follow the adventures of your own character. To kill a monster, you need a monster. I think Monster Hunter is a video game with an audience enorme. Y creo que Paul es el director perfecto para estar dirigiendo esto. Cut. All right. Do that one more time. Porque es alguien que creo que entiende mejor que nadie cómo adaptar un videojuego a una película. Es un honor ser parte de esto y realmente creo que tanto los fans del juego como el público quizás no conoce el juego va a estar muy contento con esta película. To kill a monster. You need a monster. Mila, te hace sentir en familia luego, luego. Es un amor, eh, es una tipaza, es chistosísima. Gotta tell me about that. Realmente esta producción se siente como una familia grande. The critical decision we made early on was the animation on the Diablos. We wanted to show you some of the shots so you can see what you saw in Tokyo and then what we've changed. It looks very, very close to the game. Great. <laughs> so we have a comparison, the Rathalos from the movie and the Rathalos from the game. Come on! With the pact of Apkeras, you guys made something that he wasn't able to do in the game development, so he's really happy to see that. And you incorporated so many things that we discussed, so he's really thankful, really impressed. If we can deliver for you, we can deliver for the fans.
can't believe I'm part of the world. I think it's so fun. To kill a monster, you need a monster. I've never seen a monster like this. Hey, now don't close out, I've got some awesome movie extra trivia. One of the great pioneers of special effects was Ray Harryhausen. He pushed the limits of imagination, visual effects and miniatures in ways that inspired generations after him. One of his most famous moments in film was a scene in Jason and the Argonauts, where the hero had a sword fight with seven skeleton warriors. The scene was done with stop motion and took four months to complete. Hmm. Now do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the shop section under the video.